I, thank you so much for asking. I, it's a Friday, first of all, and I'm headed walking to the grocery store. I'm watching this kid, I'm not gonna film him, of course, as a kid, and he's skipping. He's skipping home. Maybe I should skip. Should I skip? <laughs> should I skip? <laughs> That was actually fun. Would I do that if someone was here? Probably not. I'm not as brave as I just made myself out to be. <sighs> so I've arrived at my old neighborhood. This neighborhood is um, in my city of So this is an old neighborhood and the houses are quite small. It's a very old build. Because these houses are so small, a lot of people bought these houses a very long time ago, so they actually own them, a lot of them. And um, with time, because, you know, they are so old, they renovate them. So this particular neighborhood is based upon basically rivers. Like it goes from the top down like this. And there's a whole bunch of those in the neighborhood that they go from the top to the bottom downhill like streams. So they call them... Uh, the streams is what the neighborhood is called oh my gosh okay so my grandmother moved from Mivaseret to the city and i'm going to show you the outside of our old house that right right there is the balcony that was my sister's room Let's go in, let me show you. We're going down memory lane right here. Nachal Dragot, I used to live in Nachal Dragot. That is the little park for kids that was not that way when I lived here. And then this is a community bomb shelter. So in old neighborhoods, a lot of them don't have actual bomb shelters or mamads in their home, they'll have them in the neighborhood. So older neighborhoods have a community miklat. We first got here when I was like nine and um, it's just a lot of memories in one place. Gosh, I wonder if some of the people still live here. <laughs> oh gosh. So these are the stairs that we go up and down and then this. Was my little neighborhood. There, I don't know if they still live here, but there was a religious family and their twins that I was friends with. Right here was another friend's house up there as well. And as you can see, it's basically like a river, right? Because it goes from the top to the bottom. Everywhere you look, there's another house. So. You can see that that was one house and that's another and there's one house and you can just see that everywhere you go everyone lives that's another neighborhood bomb shelter right there another house these uh i guess right now it's locked even though it's probably best that during this time it's not locked but as you can see, it goes from up there. My little doggy goes from up there all the way down. And that's just sort of how it is. Let's see if I can get away with taking you down the alley towards where my actual grandma's house was. My grandmother moved here from the Vaseret to Nechalim so that we could have the space. Starts from up there, then you go down the stairs. I'm literally taking you guys on a tour of my old life.
so don't want to be creepy but this was not like that that's the old house and they literally changed like everything all of this wasn't there all that is new these vines are still here very pretty very nice This was not here when I was a kid. Let me tell you, this is like something else that makes me want to be a kid again. Yeah, this was not, this did not exist. When was this in my time? We were climbing on things we shouldn't have been climbing on just for the heck of it. Wow. I learned swinging as an adult from my friend, Haimoni, every time I see a swing, I get on it. Call me a child, but there's something about having small doses of adrenaline as a person that struggles with periodic depression that actually alleviates something. So, you know what? Who cares? Why not? <sighs> Let me show you guys the park. Here's the park. And if you go up and over this little hill, you will see the rest of it. So this is the big park, we call it the big park, or the main park, and you can basically see a lot of everything. Here's a, I guess that's a, a leaf and an acorn. Over there you have picnic benches. As a kid, we would come here a lot seek, we'd play just games, we'd hang out, we'd take food and sit here. And as a kid, this way seems like it's like a long, long walk for your little legs, but really, it's not. It's very short. And so, I'm just happy to be able to get out and experience this place again as an adult living here. I never thought that once I left, I would live here again. There you go. You honestly never know. So we would skate here with our scooters and rollerblades. That's where they do performances. Here we have a dog park. Let me show you guys a staple of my city, which is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, this would be like a meeting point. And when you would say, let's meet at the peel, which means at the elephant, Everyone knew what the elephant was and where it is. This is the elephant. Little, little baby elephant. So where we're going now is a place called Kikaria Halom, which means diamond square. I think it has to do with the shape of the square I'm going to show you. It has shops and barber shops and um, butcheries and vegetables and a vet and all the things oh my gosh since i've lived here my bank has been right here and it's not anymore now it's a deli oh it's a russian deli oh, it's a russian deli russian places have all these really cool stuff i actually love different places like this because i don't know they have cool things that it makes me want to try just for fun oh. Look at this, it looks like it's butter. It looks like a pack of butter. We were close to the most. I can let you go. Tried it all. God only knows, but that's just how things roll. They don't understand. Sweetie Pie was my best friend. I miss you so. I miss you so. Love you. So that place is definitely not kosher. <laughs> like not kosher at all. They have seafood. This is the rest of it. As you can see, it just sort of goes up. There's a lot of greenery. Over there you have barber shops. You have clothing shops and beauty shops and bubekas and falafel. And there's just a whole, whole lot here. They continue to go up. There's the 
Conservatorium. Okay, so now I'm gonna buy some things. Personally, I don't like the supermarket because it's <laughs> it's not it's sort of dirty and never mind. We're just gonna go in and buy some stuff. specifically to get eggs. They were literally out of eggs. So I'm gonna take you to the little neighborhood Makolet or kiosk if you will. Also look how pretty this place is. And um, this is literally the place that when we needed something, we would hop over here. Thankfully I have this bag from a subscriber. If you can see this, then thank you. I take it with me a lot, which is very nice. I don't tend to take gifts from subscribers, at least not right now, that's not something you should do or that I expect, but it was a very nice gift. place has the same floor from the 2000s and it literally has the exact same smell, the exact same owner. It's very funny. Yeah, it's on YouTube. I said to people where I grew up and that the place is like there's a lot of smell and everything. It's a good place. 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 אני יודע, כן, כן, לא הייתי פה מזמן וראיתי ואני כזה וואוווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווו
they can be more rough and more abrasive and more aggressive and more loud and um, also it's a really cute cute backyard anyways it can be tough um, for someone like me who's Ashkenazia who grew up in the States who doesn't know how to answer back um, so it was really tough so I was suffering a lot actually but I think what hardship does is that it doesn't allow you to appreciate things when they actually are and so now as an adult I feel like I'm able to look at life from the outside and recognize the good things that were um, but also I won't pretend I was very 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 depressed very anxious very bullied hate hated myself like so 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 much and existence was very hard and I don't know how I survived I don't know how I survived I don't know how I don't know how I'm still here sometimes I look at my life and I'm like what happened why was it so hard and how on earth did I survive I don't know oh my gosh I feel like those are I can see my old neighbors Oh my gosh, those are my old neighbors. They're way too far away from me, but they still live in the same house. That's the youngest kid. And that's the mom. I wonder if they even remember my name. I think what I've been trying to do in recent years is that it's important if you can to go to the places in which you felt bad in a different state of mind. As a, not a different person. I guess you are a different person if you change that much, but as, as the you that's capable of dealing with hard things, with new tools, and maybe we'll go up this way just for the heck of it. So we're gonna go up this way. So. <sighs> Israelis do steps. So I think that's the way to another bomb shelter and then the bomb shelter is basically beneath this square this one's actually a pretty one all of them look slightly different but what they have in common what they have in common is the stairs i've always liked that type of one but yeah like you can see it's very crowded, very in each other's face. That's a nice one. That's a hidden one over there. Anyways, what I'm saying is that it's important to find strength in old places because the more you conquer, the more you overcome, the more you see how strong you are. So I'm actually at the top of that side. Here are more houses. You can see some have renovated, some have not. But uh, it's just very pretty. Some of them paint over the old. So they'll paint it white instead of this old like brownish yellow that used to be. This is the top side. So every few, I don't know, meters, you go down on the streams. And then this is where the top side of this neighborhood is. That was my neighborhood. I'm gonna walk the long way home and um that's it i hope that you enjoyed this also if you guys don't know i have a new blog with a b because i'm realizing that i have a lot of writing material and things that i want to say that i have nowhere to say it so the blog is right here and uh you can check it out some of it will be in written form but then maybe perhaps after a while it will be in video form but don't give up on reading because reading has a whole different experience in it. I'm gonna stop here for a second and say, thank you for being here. If you are new here, then welcome. Feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We do fun things on this channel, I think. If you're not new here, then welcome back. I love you and I'll see you guys in a vlog very soon. I can sit and cry about reasons why I'm in this mess But what good is that? What a waste of breath It's
to find 